Oh, hey there. Welcome back. Man, you're just in time. We're gonna go install these iron railings. Come on, let's go for a ride. All right, so we got everything loaded up. Now we're headed west, up State Highway 24 into Teller County. Man, I see some elk tracks over there about the size of an elephant. There's a little log cabin in the woods. Yeah? Welcome to springtime in the Rockies. Couldn't have picked a better day to get up here and install these railings. Yeah, we've got the other one back here. Just set it over here and dry fit it before we stain the newel posts. All right, so the first thing we're going to do before we stain this newel post is dry fit this thing in case we have to do any sanding to make it fit just right. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to need to get our sander out and do just a little work over here on this. Now you can see here we got a little gap because of the curve in this log and we're a little open down here at the bottom as well so we're going to take a minute and do a little sanding right here and shift this whole thing and over to do that i brought my angle grinder with an abrasive flap disc so i've got this marked where this goes i'm just going to hit it a few times right here and we'll just slide this back into place take off a little at a time so now let's see how this side's going to fit Looks like we're going to have to do the same thing here. So we're going to sand out this bottom section right here and make this thing fit just right. Now it looks like we just need to take a little out of the bottom. And we're there. Yep, that's going to do it. So now that we got this thing dry fitted, let's get it out of the way and go ahead and get some fresh stain on these newel posts. Yep, really nothing to it. So while we're waiting for that stain to dry, let's talk about what we're going to use to fasten these railings. So here I've got some 3 8 inch by 2 inch square head black and lag bolts. Now these have been engineered to take quite a heavy structural load, which you're going to need for iron railings. And these are actually the same bolts that you'll find on all our Colorado rock and log furniture. Alright, so we've given this stain enough time to dry. Now we're just going to grab our drill and our level get these things set. Okay, and you can see here I'm just using two 2x6s two to raise this three inches up off the, off the deck. And then we'll use our level to get it plumb. Then we'll just mark our holes, grab our drill, and pre-drill our holes. Then we'll just grab one of our lag bolts and fasten it up. And that's about all there is to it. We'll do the same thing down here. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Yep, it's as easy as that. Let's do that front one next. Alright, so here you can see I've got my spacer set up down below. And it's pretty much the same thing. Once again, we want to put our level on it. Before we mark where we're going to drill. Now on this bottom one down here, you're going to have to use a shorter lag in order to get it in here and be able to get your wrench on it. Yep, that's about all there is to it. I'll finish tightening these up, and then we'll take a closer look at the whole project. Well, there you go. We got us a new hand railing. Well, I hope this video has been helpful the next time you're ready to make yourself your own iron railing. And if you'd like to see this tutorial in its entirety, be sure to come see At me at logfurniturehowto.com. This has been Mitchell Dillman with logfurniturehowto.com. We'll see you again next week.